hiding. <laughs> Peek-a-boo! <laughs> Again, who's hiding? Peek-a-boo! <laughs> it's a gingerbread man. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. We're gonna color the poster board first, just in case there's any gaps, it'll fill in. This is gonna be such a beautiful piece of artwork. Bear would like blue. Eloise, you said you want purple? I thought it would be good to do leaf colors, like brown, red, yellow, orange. I'm using red. Good job, Lyndall. She just drew an L. Do you guys want to use leaf colors, or do you want to use just whatever colors you want? Uh, I, want to use, I want to use leaf colors. Bear, what about you? Do you want to stick to leaf colors, or do you want to do blue? I want to do blue. Okay, I'll get you a blue. And then I'm trying to find the glue. I don't know what I, I just got like three bottles of glue and now I don't know. I thought about doing hot glue, but then I'm like, that's probably not smart to do that. Hot glue with little kids and putting, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times I've burnt my fingers to high heaven using a hot glue gun. And it's not on the gun itself. It's after the glue comes out and you're putting whatever you wanted to put on the glue. <laughs> That's when it happens. It's when you least suspect it. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do here is put one little drop of glue on and then put a leaf on it. And we're gonna have to let it sit while you guys take a nap, okay? Because, yeah, Eloise. Oh, did you get that really wet? Oh my gosh. Okay, Lyndall, are, are you ready to do another one? Here's some glue. You're gonna put another leaf on it? That one you might need to flip over because it's kind of curving the wrong way. Oh no, the glue already stuck on it. It'll dry clear. Here, Bear, do you want to do another one? Yeah, Mommy, do you right like here? it? There you go. That's good. Yeah. Here, Eloise. Okay, that's good. Uh -oh. Mommy, can you give me a thing? It's not laughing, Bear. Who are you guys wrapping this present for? Terry. What is it? Um, it's books. it's Sonic books. Sonic books? Uh -huh. Close. It's phonics. Phonics books. You guys are doing a really good job wrapping that present. She's got really wrapping love it. paper. I can tell you've done this before. More wrapping paper from Cola's present. We did this from Cola's present. That's right. That's probably how you know how to do it so well. Paper. That phonics set from Usborne is a huge hit around here. Uh, the books are hilarious. They're fun for both adults and kids. It's kind of a tongue twister because, because it's like things rhyme, but they don't, but it's close. And it's like a good way to learn phonics. And like at the end of the book, they kind of walk you through uh, basically like the phonics lesson. They're really clever. Right, like the exactly. storylines are actually interesting. So for new readers, it's not just like cat lays down. It's like there's goat, goat in a boat. Fox in a box. Croc gets a shock. Uh, um, Spider Queen's Halloween. That's a fun one. That's a good one. But Carrie, our nanny, has always like mentioned how much she loves these books, and so we we got her the set and the kids are wrapping it and I'm gonna give it to her tomorrow. And now that I'm looking at, they must change periodically which books are in them because I think there's some different ones in this than we have. And now I'm, I want those. I know, I thought we had them all. I, well, they must like, but there's probably half of them in this set that we do have. So it's not like I can just get another set. Right. Okay. She's gonna, she's gonna love it. Bear's Jeep broke down uh, about a week ago. And so we did some investigating. It turns out one of the electrical connections that goes to the back wire has broken. So this is going to be my first time using a soldering iron. So pray for me. All right, Bear. Let's go fix your Jeep, buddy. No, no, no. One more piece of tape. Wee Wee, is your baby going to come help fix the Jeep? It looks like you ate nothing. We can wrap a present and just put tape on it. 
Obviously it's not good when a connection breaks like that. So what I'll be doing is soldering it back into its proper place. Now Bear, what? I've never actually soldered before, so we'll see. I'm actually gonna pra practice by soldering two wires together. Okay. And then, and then switch my Jeep. See yeah. how and, it goes. And then we'll do it with your Jeep. I took welding in high school, so, and I know how to gas weld. That was 20 years ago, but it's basically the same principle. I was never very good at gas welding, though. What? Same. Yeah, be careful. So I did a little practice run on these two wires right here, just to see like how hot it would get and what exactly it would do. So those are soldered together. And then I went ahead and moved on. <laughs> so it's not pretty, but I think it's gonna work. We shall find out. Well, shoot. It's just not staying attached. So, dang it. I guess maybe we'll just have to replace this part. That stinks. If anybody knows, like if you're an electrician or you know anything about electronics, uh, some suggestions down below in the comments would be very helpful. Thanks. What are you guys up to? For who? Um, Nora and Mary. Oh, Carrie's. And Carrie's daughters. Yeah. And then, no. who's the other one for? Uh, no. Mom, Dominic and Sophia. Ah, your, on your twin friends. Over here on this side. My Ooh. Sophia. Your friend Sophia. Uh, are, you Vin, are you friends with Vinny? I wouldn't let her do that. And Vinny. And Vinny. We sincerely apologize to Dominic and Sophia and Nora and Meredith for the amount of tape. And Nora. Yes. And for the amount of tape tape that was used on those presents. We're sorry that you're not going to be able to open them by yourself and you'll probably require adult help. Right, Bear? Yes. Oh, yes. There's two people that will hiding. Bing, bing, Again, who's hiding? Peek -a -boo! Ah! <laughs> it's a gingerbread man. Again. One more time. Who's hiding? <laughs> Peek -a -boo! Ah! <laughs> okay, we'll do it on the next page. I'm back in the bus again. Well, let's see what time is it? 10:20 p.m. And I'm out here. I got two more pieces of the subfloor put in. Got a bunch of weight on them because I'm gluing them down. I'm a little worried because access to the uh, diesel tank is like in the middle of that far piece of the subfloor. So the like the there's a little bit of a gap between those two pieces. So I'll I'll probably just caulk it real good and hopefully you can't see the seam when I do the floor uh, but I might have to do something there I don't know yet but anyway I'm also doing kill mat I cannot say enough good things about this stuff we'll see how effective it is but it could not be an easier application process it's really neat too so what it is uh, a lot of auto mechanics will use this like on the hood of cars so it's like a thermal uh, sound insulation, uh, pretty popular with schoolie builds and auto, obviously automotive stuff. But this stuff is super easy to work with, um, especially like with like with these weird arches here. You can literally just put it against it, bend it over, and and just cut out the pattern that it leaves. So this stuff is really awesome. It had you know amazing reviews on Google, so I'm not surprised, and it's. It's always highly talked about by everybody that's done a school build, but you pay for it. It's really expensive. I think 50 square foot was $60, I think. And I had to get 100 square foot to make sure that I had enough. Uh, but yes, look, 
I can just put it over the edge like this. It cuts really easy with some snips here. So just follow the follow the pattern. Rachel would love doing this. It's too bad she's exhausted. And then you just undo the thing here. And then applique. And I have a roller that I could use to like push it down, but I really haven't needed it at all because it goes on so smooth. So check that out. I mean, how easy is that? It looks great. I just hope it's really effective, which I'm sure it will be with all the reviews that it has. All right. So that's my project for tonight.